Hello YouTube, it is I, Flame Nixus. I'm just um sitting off to the side because I am putting together a costume for Halloween. Um let me fix my this way really quick. Uh, there we go. And this is what I came up with so far. The claws. I have the part where the blood's on the tips. I gotta I'm still working on that to make it. Um, later I'm gonna make it to where it looks like it's like running down, like running down the claw on my claws, because there's a lot of little kids in my neighborhood, and uh, as soon as I was done trick or treating, I was gonna change into this costume, and I was gonna scare all the little kids, and go Rah! and like creep them out, but Ew. these are some really nice claws it took me. A little while. I made. Sh uh, I actually. I mean, the origami claws are really easy to make. All you need is some printer paper or lined paper, but I suggest printer paper to make it look like. I mean, the lines will make it look all crappy. Um, but this is like the full extent of it. I mean, it looks creepy. Cause in the outfit I'm wearing, I'm not supposed to be using wearing this shirt, but I am supposed to be wearing this shirt right here, the, the long sleeve ones with the, with the flaring part. Yeah, I'm supposed to be wearing that because it makes it look all creepy and it partly hides my hand, the skin in my hand, so you guys can see the claws. So I'm going to creep out some little kids. But the shirt is supposed to be a different shirt. It'll be like all bloody because my character is because the thing that I'm supposed to be is a, is a demon that, that murders things. And um, there's an atrium over here, so that's where we, and the front goes right there. That's where we get out, give out our candy. The kids have to run past me into the safe haven before they, before I get them. Even though I'm not actually going to get them, I'm just going to scare them and they run into there. And, I'll, and, I'll, and then as soon as they leave, I'll go happy Halloween and, yeah. But there's a lot of little kids in our neighborhood. But subscribe if you guys think this is cool. Or just drop a like and a comment. Um, you guys w would like me to give you guys a tutorial on how to make the origami claws. I just, you know, and for those of you that already know how to make origami claws and want to know, um, all I did was just, I didn't use marker, I used red pen. Because then you can get more detail with the pen. As you guys can see, it looks a little bit more detailed. But I'm gonna I'm gonna fix that up later because I'm not done. And there's a few poses that I came up with. Like I'm just holding out my hand like this. And then this one. Or this one. I'm still working on them, but um, once my program, when my my costume is finished, I will tell you guys what it looks like. And I know it's like several like months away from Halloween, but I uh, couldn't hurt to get started on a long project now. It's just August. I don't really cares, but it looks pretty creepy. I was actually gonna wear a hood so nobody could see my face. But yet I can still see. I know I can't even I don't even know what kind of material I need for that, but if you guys could tell uh, give me a tip on that, I would really like it. But um yeah, I'm gonna make a a, a tutorial on how to make origami claws. But <laughs> looks cool when I swipe it in the camera. <laughs> Come with me. To hell! Ah! Sorry. So come with me to hell. <laughs> or once you play, like one of my friends was gonna do something similar to this, so he needed the claws for um, Tails doll. So he's gonna be Tails doll for Halloween. He's gonna be the human edition of Tails doll. He's just gonna take some of his hair. I mean, because um, his hair is kind of long, and he's gonna tie one of those um, red um, hair beads into uh, onto it um and he was also uh, yeah he was gonna go um tie some red hair beads 
onto it. Um, so, I mean, I really like that idea, so he did that. Well, he showed me the red hair bead that he was going to use. It was actually like a shape of a gem, and he said that he didn't that he needed the claws for it. And he would decorate it because he's too lazy to even make them himself, so I made them for him. Actually, his costume is turning out pretty well. I have to congratulate him on that. And I just love these because then I could creep out people. I mean, I creeped out several of my friends at school. I mean, I, I, cause, I mean, just because I did this to them, you know, wanna play, and I held out my claw, and I held out like my hands out like this, they're all creeped out. So, thank you for watching.